how's it going guys uh we're here at fern gully farms and i ended up cutting a finger doing a little video about chainsawing I always wear gloves i don't want to go back to the main house yet so i'm just going to try to do a little impromptu band-aid happens from time to then remember i'm going to sit here and later i'm going to go put new spawn on it uh, hydrogen peroxide but not right now right now i want to get back to work so what I've done is take a little shop rag. See, I cut a little strip. All I'm gonna do is just wrap my finger. See, it stopped bleeding already. It's only been about five minutes. I'm gonna wrap my finger like so. See, it's wrapped up in a shop rag. That's so it doesn't stick to the duct tape. Now I'm gonna see here and separate the duct tape in half. Go with it just like you would plumber's tape. Just loop it once, there you go, loop it again. I'm gonna break this in half, and this one in half. Notice I've done this before. So, I'm gonna do a plus sign over my finger. So, you see there's that one. Here's the next plus sign. Come over it, I'm crossing it. Boom, there's my top. So now I've created a little, almost like a little top there, but I can still move it, still functional. I'm gonna take the last piece and wrap over that cross. So that way, boom. And see, it's touching a little bit my bottom skin. And the reason why is so that way it sticks. But I'm still gonna be wearing gloves and I'm gonna pressure on the top. So it might bleed a little bit, but if it bleeds, it's gonna stick and it's gonna stay right in my hand. And I can keep working. So, like I said, guys, you know, it happens sometimes safety first. If I'd have worn my gloves the first time, even when doing the video, I wouldn't have to worry about that. But things happen when you sit here and kind of jerry rig things. But I appreciate you guys looking. And, then, you know, like I said, it's all about the journey, I suppose. I'll talk to you guys next time.